Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Right, here's the heavyweight wrestler Curtis Razor Blades representing Team Elevation there in Colorado. And here's a guy who at least on paper has more takedowns secured offensively than any fighter in UFC heavyweight history. You know they talk about specialists and at times you find a guy that's so good at one skill that you know what's coming and you can't stop it. Curtis Blades is one of those guys. He's a national wrestling champion. He's very big. He's very skilled and he has great cardio. The great cardio allows him to press this wrestling style on guys and they can't keep up with him. He is solely one of the top five heavyweights in the world. And he's certainly got a good work rate for this heavyweight division. Works as hard in training as anybody. Still in search of that elusive first championship opportunity. Big spot for Curtis Razor Blades here tonight. can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jafar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. Once again, Ladies here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, this is Bruce the Buffett. Main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Curtis Racer! Hey! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making it fun. Ready. Ready to fight. Our round one is underway between one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division against maybe the best grappler in this division. Gonna be interesting to see how it plays out stylist. Yeah, you would think... Oh! 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 All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Oh, beautiful reaction by him there, DC. Caught the kick and immediately countered with a perfectly timed takedown. I mean, John, when you can have a reactionary takedown, it's usually the easiest one because you know that it's going to find the takedown. You just see something, you counter and react on it, and it makes the takedown much easier. 
All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. here fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. So three minutes off the clock in our first round. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Good work from the top here by Blades. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Curtis Blades. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, some big punches raining down here, picking the spots well, and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily, posturing up and, and making these shots count. I mean, why would he when he's having so much success doing it and fighting in this exact same manner that's leading them to be ahead in the fight right now? All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge of the match. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, this position now, what we call the north-south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of harm's way? Man, it's tough on the bottom. It's very tough because everything hurts, right? right. It doesn't matter that they're not completely driving the shoulder in. It just, everything hurts. So you wait for your opponent to go to his next action. And when he does, you go and attack the hands. You get to your knees and you attack the hands with both hands and try to peel the lock so you can get to your feet. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground. Yeah, the ground. That is it. And that's going to do it. He got him. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at one minute, 48 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Curtis Racer. Thank you for watching. Well, we Please wait for more videos. See you soon. Tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he's done.